Okay, so here's what I wanted to chat to you about. Uh, I was thinking about this today. I was working with a client um, who is a highly successful individual. She's probably, I would say in the top, certainly in the top five percent in the world at what she does and certainly right there within a nation at least um, very very highly successful individual talking to me about how she doesn't get what it is that she wants which of course as you might have guessed was the man of her dreams and uh, you know she has all this crazy success uh, houses, cars, properties here, investments there, all kinds of very cool stuff. So she's, she's asking me, well, if I've got all this, why don't I, well, how come I'm not able to get, how come I'm not able to get what I really want, which is this, this perfect relationship? How come I don't get that? What is with that? And it got me to thinking about how often I meet people who tell me that very same thing. They say, how come I don't get what it is that I want? I mean, I'm working really hard, Dov. I've, I've put in all this effort. I've, I've, I've done X, I've done Y. Why isn't it showing up? I mean, in the law of manifestation and resonance, aren't I doing it right? You know, what is this? Etc. You might have had the same thing. Maybe you've had the same thing. If you have, jump in. Tell me. Have you had that experience of feeling like it's not just, it's not right that you don't get what it is that you say you really want? Or is, why is the world, why is the universe unfair and that you just don't get what it is that you want? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about why it doesn't show up for you? Have you thought about that? And I want to give you a couple of tips on why you don't get what it is that you say you want. Now, as always, I am going to give you what I believe is the right answer, meaning what it is that I know it to be. Um, but at the same time, you may not like what I have to say, and you're not, uh, you're not under any particular um, arrangement to like it. It's just what I believe is the truth. So. Let's start here. First of all, if you don't get what it is that you want, one of the major reasons you don't get what you want is worth, self-worth. Do you have the self-worth to actually receive what it is that you want? Does it seem like the things that you want are way beyond you? Do you unconsciously or subconsciously or at some level, are you telling yourself that you know, that's a bit too good for me. That's a bit too much for me. Are you undermining your own, your own desire? Okay. So this is where you need to go. This, that's the first place. And good to see that you're listening. Christy, thanks for joining in and thanks for joining in Anne, uh, and for all the other people who are joining in who are silent. So there's a self-worth issue. Are you actually feeling worthy of receiving what it is you say you want because here's the deal if you're not willing to receive it if you're not feeling worthy of receiving it there's no way in the world you're going to get it you're going to be pushing it away at every possible turn so that's one of the things is your self-worth here's another one another tip on why it might not be showing up maybe you're holding a form I'll give you a clue what I mean. Let's say you say, I want to make a hundred grand more this year, or I want to make a hundred grand this year. Maybe that's your thing, right? I want to make that. And you can't, you don't understand why it's not showing up. Well, maybe you're holding it in a particular form. So you say, well, I want to make a, I want to make a hundred grand through this avenue, through my online business or through my connections or through getting a, a raise or a better job or whatever it is. But at the same time, that's like saying, well, I want a hundred grand and it's got to come to me from that place. But what if somebody's over here saying, hey, here's a hundred grand and you can't see it because you're so limited in your structure of how it has to show up. So sometimes you don't get what you want because you're rigid about how it shows up. That's another reason. So you got self-worth can be a reason why it doesn't show up. Like if, do you feel worthy of receiving it? Are you rigid? 
about how it shows up, will you allow it to show up in another form? Are you open to allowing it to show up in another form? Are you too rigid? Here's the next thing, the next tip that I want you to grasp. I'm gonna give you four, this is the third one. The third one is why what you want doesn't show up. This is a tough one for people. One of the reasons that what you want doesn't show up in your life is because it's not what you want. Tough one, that one. What do I mean? Very often, what people say they want, and, and let me be clear, what they maybe even believe that they want is not what they want at all. It's what somebody has told them they want. They want that degree from university, but they don't really want it. That's what their parents want them to have. They, they, they want that, that car, but it isn't really anything they care about. They don't care about it at all, but you know, it's what they should want if they're going to impress that client or if they're going to impress that level of business. They should want a body like this because the bodies in the magazines are like that. So they should want that body, but that's actually not what they really want at all. So a lot of the time, what we say we want is not what we actually want. It's what we're supposed to want. It's what we're supposed to say we want, but we don't bother to actually question whether it is what we want. It's back to the message I did previously where I talked about actually making conscious choices rather than being in reaction. It's on a very similar level. It's understanding that you've got to question what it is that you want. Do you actually want what you want? Or has somebody told you it's what you should want? Because if it is what you should want, and it's not what you want in your heart, in your soul, in your depth of your desire, you're gonna find a way to push it away. And, and by the way, even if you got it, even if you found it, even if it showed up in your life, you'd get rid of it. You'd find a way to get rid of it. It wouldn't work for you, it wouldn't make you happy. It wouldn't satisfy your soul if you did get it. You'd be very dissatisfied with it. So that's another reason. So that's the third. Okay, that's number three, self-worth, rigid concept, and that it's not what you want, but rather what you're supposed to want, what you think you should want. Here's the fourth one. I think this one's the most important personally, so I hope you're listening. The fourth reason that what you want is not showing up in your life is this. I want you to imagine that whatever it is you want, so you, you picture it in your mind right now. Maybe it's a, a certain partner, you know, like a, a soulmate partner. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe what you want is a fantastic job that is, uh, fulfills your purpose and your passion. Maybe what you want is something else. Whatever it is that you want, I want you to think about whatever it is that you want. Picture it in your mind right now. Okay, now I want you to imagine that it's in a box. I know it's kind of weird when you think about a soulmate or, or, or an ideal job, but put it in a box. Put it in a box that's big enough to hold it if it was a physical item. So if that job was a physical thing, it would fit in this box that is, and I'm making shit up here, you can go with whatever you want, but it would fit in a box that's six feet by four feet by three feet, whatever it is, make it up for yourself. Imagine what it is you want, that soulmate fix in this particular box, that, um, that, that kind of job that you're looking for, whatever it is that you want, picture it as a solid thing and fit it in a box. You got it? Great. Now, have that box separate from you. And now I want you to picture, let's say that you want is a soulmate. I want you to picture the relationship that you have and have that in a box. And the box that it's in is your box. It's your relationship box. And it's exactly the same size as the other box, the one that's got your soulmate in. How can the soulmate possibly fit into your box, fit into your life when the box is already full? It can't. How can the perfect job, that, that soul satisfying, that, that purposeful, that passionate job that you crave fit into your life when the box is already full? Your box of the perfect job is already full. It's already got a full load in there. There's no room to anything else in. 
You can't. The reason you don't have what you want is because that you're not making room for it. So people say to me, oh, you're right, Dov. Yes, I get it. I've got to let go of what I don't want. No, 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 no. You do have to let go of what you don't want, but that's not my point. Here's what you've got to let go of. Whatever, whatever it is that you're settling for. You don't have to let go of what you don't want. You have to let go of what you're settling for. What you're saying, eh, it's not that bad. What you're putting up with. You gotta let go of whatever it is you're settling for in your life instead of having exactly what it is that you want. You can have whatever it is you want, provided, remember the other three, provided it is exactly what it is that you want, but you've not got be got to be willing to settle. So some people will say, well, you know, I really want a soulmate, but you know, he's a good guy, she's a good lady, uh, he doesn't do this, she doesn't do that, uh, and they talk about this list of, of things that are, are okay. That, that There may even be things that are on the list of what they would actually like to have, but it's not what they want. They've settled in some way, shape, or form. And every time you settle, you deny yourself the ability to have what it is that you want. That's why you don't have what you want. Those are the four things. Self-worth. Are you actually able to receive what it is that you want? You think about growing your business. Think about growing your legacy. Do you actually believe you deserve it? If you don't, you need to reach out to somebody like me to help you with that. It doesn't have to be me, but anybody to help you get that clear. That you got to get what you want and you've got to raise your self-worth to be able to receive it. That's number one. Have then be clear about what you want, but don't be so rigid about how it comes to you. Let it come in any way, shape or form. I don't care. I mean, if you're single, do you care if you meet your soulmate online? in a bar, in the grocery store, do you care? Of course you don't. Don't care about where they come from. Care about what it is that you want. It can come from anywhere. Be wide open. Let the universe, let your friends, let the coffee shop, let whatever it is, give it to you. You say, I want a million bucks. Do you care if it comes in the lottery? Do you care if it comes in, in pennies? and somebody dumps it on your front lawn, you might have a preference for it being another way, but hey, if it's a million bucks in pennies, I'll take it. You won't? Okay, no problem. Deliver it to my place. No problem. So get out of the rigidity. Third thing of what's stopping you from having what you want, maybe you don't really want it. Maybe it's what you think you should want. And if you're convincing yourself and telling everybody that this is what you want because it's what you should want, you ain't gonna get it. I'll tell you something. Years ago, I was in this mastermind group with some of my peers. So we were all back in those days, I owned a personal development company, some of you know for, for many, many years. And I had this personal development company and was masterminding with other people in the same industry. And we're all sitting around and we're all working out and strategizing and saying what it is we want. And we're, we're talking about our goals and our dreams and what we're gonna do and how we're gonna shift and change the world. And a friend of mine who was in that group was sitting there and he spoke, and then we took a break, and I was gonna come back after the break, I was in the second half. And we went away, and, and it, he was telling me about how insightful it was, and how clearing it was, and how great it was for him to get to speak about these things. And I said, oh, that's really good, I'm really happy for you. And he said, has it given you some insights? And I said, absolutely. And he said, well, what, what's your insights? And I said, I got clarity. And he goes, yeah, you know, because I know we wanna be the same thing. And I went, no, that's the clarity. I just realized I don't want that. I've been telling myself and telling everybody else that I wanted to be this and this and this and I wanted to be that in that on that stage and do these things. I don't give a flying fuck. I don't care. That's not what really lights my fire. And it was so freeing to realizing that I've been pursuing something, beating my head against the wall, being pissed off, being frustrated, realizing that I was so I was good enough to be at that level, but I wasn't getting it because it wasn't really what I wanted. That's the third thing that's in the way. If it's not what you really want, you're not gonna get it. You're just not. 
You just, it's not going to show up. And in my own life, I know, I've been there, and in many of my clients' lives, who are people, like I said, these are people who are achieving beyond what most people even imagine achieving. They're still settling in an area of their life. They're still going, but this is good. Sure it's good, but is it fucking great? Is it outstanding? Is it spectacular? Does it set your heart and your soul on fire? Because unless it does, it's not really worth it, is it? it? means you're putting up with, you've settled. So you don't get what you want because there's no room to have what you really want because you're too busy settling for what you have. So this is Dove Baron, fullmontyleadership.com, asking you to get curious, my friend, get really curious about what it is that you really want and why you're not getting it. Take a look at those four reasons that you're not getting what it is that you want. And I think you'll find some really clear answers. And it might take you a little bit of time, but it's worth taking the time to find out what it is you really want. Because there is room for it when you sort those four things out. Dove Baron, fullmontyleadership.com. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, stay curious, my friends. Stay curious. Live from Vancouver. British Columbia, Canada.